in these problems, what we're trying to do is write inequalities, so those expressions that have greater than and less than in them, um, to represent sentences. So we're basically doing some translation from English to math. So let's see if we can do this. The first one says, write an inequality to represent the following sentence. When a number is decreased by 3, the result is more than negative 4. So when you see the result is more than, that's a sign. Uh, that's going to be your, your inequality sign. So, and in this case, the result is more than, that's a greater than. So we've got a greater than sign there. Let me back up a little bit and see what's on the uh, left here. It says when a number is decreased by 3. When you see a number, that's usually your variable. So we're going to call that x. And then to decrease something by 3, you would subtract 3. So we can call that x minus 3. So, so far, when a number is decreased by 3, the result is more than, so x minus 3 is greater than, and then we've just got negative 4. So that is how to translate that sentence into an inequality. This takes a little bit of practice. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it eventually. Just keep at it. Let's try another one together. It says, write an inequality to represent the following sentence. When a number is divided by 5. So, again, we've got a number. That's x. Is divided by 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over 5. And the quotient is decreased by 7. And what that means, a quotient is something that's getting divided by. So it's this whole thing that's going to be uh, decreased by 7. So I can put my minus 7 right after it like that. Then it says the result is less than 2. So it's a less than sign and a 2. And that's all there is to that one. Let's look at one more. When a number that's x, is divided by 3, okay, we'll divide it by 3, and the quotient, that's this whole thing, is increased by 2, so increased, we're going to add 2, the result is more than negative 2, so greater than, the result is more than negative 2. So that's a little bit of practice with uh, writing inequalities from sentences.